Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I decided to stop pussyfooting around here. Some people a little bit less nice might say I'm gonna stop being a pussy, I'm gonna actually try to play some blue baby games here. And there is judgment in our first room. Totally meaningless to me right now, considering I don't have any money and probably won't for quite some time. Now, I haven't played Blue Baby in a long time, and uh, the only time I actually succeeded in a run with Blue Baby is one where... I think I might have used the Bible to kill Mom's heart or something. I don't know, there was some kind of cheesy thing going on with it anyway. Maybe it was just Brick's stuff. But anyway, a couple of quick channel updates. Well, really one quick channel update. And that is just for me to say thank you guys, because you made the first episode of Poison Mushroom Season 2 a huge success this weekend. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's the featured video on my channel, or you can find it on the Shinless channel, channel as well. Really appreciate all the support that you guys gave that, all the likes and favorites. The turnout, whatever you want to call it, was uh, pretty incredible, more than I expected. And I also wanted to point out that I am hearing your feedback. I know you guys, generally speaking, prefer live commentary to post commentary. Now, I do have like five episodes of post oh, Lemon Mishap? Well, this does beat the poop. Um, I do have like five episodes of post commentary already recorded, so there's nothing I can do about that, but I'll work on maybe trying to do some live commentary episodes as well. Still very early in the show's life cycle, I'm trying to find a good formula that works for it, but I think we're making progress, let's put it that way. The total waste of Lemon Mishap right there. Duke of Flies is gonna be fine anyway. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. Much appreciated, let's put it that way. Let's use our one bomb take out a lot of Duke of Flies health, just to save us some time, because I'm worried about getting trapped in a corner with all these flies. It's like, they're coming out faster than I can kill them. It's almost never a good thing. Get the red flies out of the way first, because those are the only dangerous ones. And speed upgrade. Not really what I needed is Blue Baby. If I remember properly, what you need as Blue Baby is some way to generate health, so preferably that's going to be a, a Book of Revelations, possibly a Nail, or you could also do, uh, I guess, just getting a lot of Spirit Hearts by picking up something like the Relic, or we could use, uh, well, actually in conjunction with that, we would probably want some kind of big damage upgrades. Mom's Knife would be a good pickup. Uh, Brimstone would be a good pickup, even though I know people are somewhat tired of it. It's still, it, it's imbalanced, you know? You gotta exploit it while it exists. Lemon Mishap, I don't think I've ever used this item effectively. Oh, there we go. It creates some creep, but it doesn't actually do very much damage to the, uh, the Hoppers themselves, apparently. Oh my god, I hate this layout for this room. I sh never should have taken damage on that, but oh well. You get a bomb back, which means I can take a look for the secret room at the very least. Where is... Come on, get over here! Hopefully a useful pill. Health down would be horrible. <laughs> Alright, game. I get you. Speed and range up is a good pickup. Unfortunately, uh, we might not live to tell the tale about that. Because with only one spirit heart left and no way to regenerate health, we're looking like we're in a bad position right now. The other really uh, damaging thing or, or detrimental thing about playing as Blue Baby is that you don't have... Uh, any leverage with which to make deals with the devil, and you're probably not going to get a ton of help. But we did pick up some more spirit hearts there, so I should live a little bit longer. And I guess we'll just go fight the boss. The creep is not going to do as much as I thought. Man! It's very stupid damage right there, but not having very good luck with this lemon mishap. What a horrible item. Again, it's not a. Actually, I think I prefer Mom's bra to Lemon Mishap. I hate to say it, but I think I do. Alright, let's try to take out little Stevie first. Because that should give me maybe Steve, which will give me damage upgrades, which is welcome right now, let's put it that way. And it's hard to kill little Steven first. There we go. Sorry about the sparse commentary, I'm just kind of focusing. This has become. You know, this blue baby run is my own personal Everest here. Man, I haven't seen that since, like, my Super Meat Boy Let's Play. How did I get hit by that? Well, we'll pick up Steve for the damage upgrade. Probably can't trade with the devil. In fact, oh, if I just had, like, two more spirit hearts, that nail would make things so much easier. Well, at least we do have Steven. Now, hopefully I can get a key and pick up something good from the item room here, but I, things are not looking good right now. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Let's get this guy out.
out, and hopefully he'll drop a key. He is a champion. So, should have an item. Probably, with my luck, it'd be just a single scent. Hey, a spirit heart! That's actually better. Uh, well, hard to say whether or not that, that's better than a key, but it's good. Let's put it that way. Lemon Mishap needs a serious buff in Wrath of the Lamb. I don't think it's going to come, but it'd be great if, like, Lemon Mishap covered, I don't know, half of the room as opposed to what it covers now, which is, like, an eighth of an inch. Might as well put the creep down there. Oh, they're flying enemies. They can't even touch it. So I wasted it anyway. This is why people can't take me seriously when I criticize items in the Binding of Isaac. They're like, you don't know what you're doing at all in this game. Even though you've played over 100 hours of it. I've, like, spent more time with this game than I've ever spent with any Final Fantasy game. Oh, come on. It's a horrible display. And that was even worse. I mean, it's the same amount of damage, but it's worse because I should have easily dodged that. And one and a half spirit hearts. Again, not feeling super confident here. At least we're rolling in keys. I'm not sure if I want to go to the gauntlet here. I guess it depends on what It's a golden chest, so I probably don't want to waste my key to open it. Ugh, dumb, dumb damage. I'm not feeling confident about this blue baby run. That's half the problem, you know. Always gotta have confidence. I'm gonna stick out of that one for now. I want to go to the item room first, at the very least. Because I need to replace this lemon mishap with something useful. Something not awful <laughs> is basically what I'm trying to say here. Oh, they're all flying enemies again, but somehow it still hit the the head, bodiless head guys. <laughs> Forgot the my own homemade name for them. Flies are dead, we can move on. I'm gonna predict Depths Part 1 is where I'm gonna die. Unless I run into Gertie on, on this floor. Then I will probably die on this floor. Hey, there's a tinted rock. Oh, and I need it now, because I'm an idiot. The rock and two bombs. Not good. So we might see a, a two-part run here. If not more, really. I do have the, like, the lover's card is so useless to me. Because it's only going to drop red hearts. I might as well use it to see maybe I'll get lucky and it'll drop spirit hearts. Of course it won't. That'd be ridiculous. We really have to wait, work our way up to the item room here. Now this worries me! Oh, I should not have lived through that. The good news is we do we did get one uh, of those things that I said was necessary to have a good blue baby run. We do have high damage right now. And please, please God. Poison touch is not going to do it for us. So we'll look for the secret room and pray that there is a one-up contained therein. So we're kind of running out of options. Wow! You don't really get luck like that that often. Not sure if you know how lucky we are. If this is your first time watching a Binding of Isaac video, which, you know, it probably is for like four or five people out there, this shit is unbelievably lucky. That's gonna mean that we'll have a chance. If we die, I think we'll respawn with three spirit hearts, but we might respawn with zero spirit hearts. But it's still at least like a little bit of effective health. I'm gonna lemon miss at him, and it's not gonna hurt him at all. I think he was in range, but maybe not. This is actually my favorite layout for Fighting Peep, because these rocks uh, really do a good job of blocking that circular attack that he does. So we can just kind of keep him in this corridor here, and go to town. And again, we can choose, essentially, where Peep falls, just by moving our position over there. Alright, so the first eye out. Second eye will come out at about one-third health remaining. There we go. Now it's going to be riskier, because he put the creep down. Watch out for the eye that can float over the rocks. So this fight's going very well so far. Part of the reason for that is because I have fairly good damage with the rock and Steven. The rock and Steven, also the uh, former WWF tag team heavyweight champions of the world. Steven really never went on to, to big things. Uh, I think he started a, a tech company in Silicon Valley. They make like phones and computers now. Renowned for stylistic choices. Hey, we got a spirit heart for killing him, and an HP upgrade, which will give us another spirit heart. Big pickups. Uh, not gonna go in the deal with the devil room because I worry that it's Krampus, and I have never seen a spirit heart deal with a devil trade that was less than three. 
so I can't really justify that right now. Like, the risk is much less than the potential reward, which is theoretically zero. At least get a couple of these guys dead. Perfect. I have those guys, no problem. I can't remember, do those guys do one heart or half a heart? I think they might do one heart. It's been a while. The mishap again, proving its usefulness. That was sarcasm, in case you were born yesterday. I do have one more key, so I don't want to use it for the shop. Like, I literally have nothing going for me here. Again, now I can go to the shop, right? but I don't have enough money. Like, that's what I mean. I've got nothing going for me in the sense that I have... Well, I, I have a little bit of damage, and I have this one-up that may or may not effectively be just, like, another suicide run. But I don't have many keys. I don't have many bombs. I don't have great items. Bob's Rotten Head is better than Lemon Mishap. I can at least rest safely. But I can't really use it on this room because it'll blow up in my face. And it's a tough layout because we do have the champion first. And he's going to take a little bit more of a pounding. There we go. Hey, three cents! Now we could technically buy a key at the shop after we spent a key to get into the shop. Must be my lucky day. Could maybe buy a spirit heart, but those are usually five cents. Anything else? And watch that the item room will now contain a space bar item that is marginally better than Bob's Rotten Head, but still not that good. The good thing about this, though, is that we can use this as a bomb as well. Which is not going to be too effective on this room. Because that will just cause these guys to freeze up like... Captain of the Chess Club going to his junior prom. I know from experience! <laughs> Walked right onto the spikes. Uh, pretty classic northern line maneuver right there. Not really the best strategy, but it, you know, it could be worse. I could have killed myself in real life. Mm, nothing there. Come on this way. A little bit of Larry Jr., which means uh, Bob's Rotten Head could be useful here. There we go. That went alright. Probably will use this last bomb to open this chest. Should have used Bob's Rotten Head to to get to this place over here, and I'm having trouble with my words now. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, thanks for the help. I'll be sure to use that. Uh, never. The weird thing about Blue Baby is that you actually cannot. Oh, we got some money. You actually cannot get regular help. Like, even if you got that health up, as you saw, all you get are spirit hearts. So, you, like, there's no way you can dig yourself out of this hole by getting, like, four health ups as, uh, as Blue Baby. You're stuck. You gotta make this Blue Baby run work on its own merits. Which is not always easy. On the bright side, we're approaching the 15-minute mark, which makes me feel like, you know, at least this, this episode has been somewhat successful. I kind of expected it to be over, like, five minutes in. I hate... This room. I'm not playing Ikaruga right now. Call it. You hear me? I want to call it off. Okay. Folk, get the champion out of the way because his shots do one full heart of damage, which is devastating right now. There we go. Okay. Now this guy. There's an order. Oh, I can't believe it. Alright, and then this guy. We will not do the boss fight right now, because I want to go to the item room first, because if I'm fighting like Gertie, this could potentially be the end. But I also want to save Bob's Rotten Head for it, so I won't look for the secret room. Sadly, there are more important things right now. Careful not to walk on the spikes. Hi, Lissu's guys! <clears throat> Trying to flank me. Again, I'm really impressed with the AI on these guys. They really just do a good job swarming you and hemming you in. Like, look at that guy, he tried to do a flanking maneuver. Get me trapped in there like the Pac-Man ghost. No item room over here. Uh, very tempted to use Bob's Rotten Head. But I think with only two of these guys and a relatively good layout, I can keep my distance. Alright, I'm glad I didn't use it. And we're up to four keys, so if there was like a station where I could trade keys for hearts... That would be fine by me. You hear that, Ed? Wrath of the Lamb. Make a, a locksmith who trades keys for hearts. Totally ruin the balance of the game. D6! Alright. Um, why not? 
Ouija board, okay, that's a, a decent pickup. I'm not sure it's better than Bob's Rotten Head. But I'm gonna stick with it for now, the reason being that... I'm, this is... I'm thinking that the D6 could potentially be game-breaking if I get a fantastic item as a result of it. If I don't, then it's, it's a, not a good pickup, let's put it that way. Please, good secret room. Uh, or secret room at all, I suppose. We will go to the shop. If we run into greed, we're gonna be in trouble. Nope. Um... Wow, I want all of these things, but I don't quite have enough money. And I just walked into the fire! Because I'm retarded. How are we gonna get ourselves out of this bucket of syrup here? Can it be done? Why do I play Blue Baby? I hate him so much! Alright, turrets. Tough room. But I think I'll be fine. Just keep your distance. You got a range advantage, I think. Maybe not. Alright, now we're gonna go fight the boss. And probably, uh, die. Of course. But, you know, there's the opt- I've, I've taken runs back from the brink of failure before. Where am I going? Wishful thinking. I keep going back into the spike room, which makes me nervous, man. I've pulled runs back from the brink of destruction before. I can do it again, but it's gonna have to be pretty goddamn good. I definitely do not want to fight Gertie. Alright, doable! Not easy. Oh, definitely not easy. But doable. Now, fucking Chad gets faster the more you shoot him. And, of course, this item is not gonna help me out at all. I'm just trying to... There's no incentive for me to win here beyond just living another day. There's something kind of romantic about that. Man, these flies are probably gonna be the worst, man. Yeah, fill the screen with the laser bullet flies. Fantastic. Let's take care of some of them. Do some crowd control. Oh, never mind. Spawn some more. <laughs> oh, daddy. Daddy, it hurts. Okay, here we go. Come on, you big dickhole! Losing to little Chad is an indignity that I've not suffered in a long time. This might do it, though. Oh, that was close. Alright, and again, what could I possibly gain from that trade with Satan? Uh, I have a 1-up, though. Is it possible that I could get one of these things and then the 1-up will get... Uh, it just won't let me pick it up. But for a second, I thought I was a goddamn genius. That might work if I had three spirit hearts. Alright, so my uh, prediction of dying on the depths part one is looking pretty solid right now. Don't think that Ouija board pickup is really going to do me a lot of good here. Yeah, okay. Isla Sue's guys. Three bomb flies and a laser bullet fly. This is one of the worst rooms I could possibly imagine for myself right now. At least one of the worst that you could run into on the depths part one. Still a relatively early game in my opinion. At least with my vast binding of Isaac experience. But we lived. And we got a pill. Oh my god. I lived to fight another day. Also, how does it decide what full health is when you're blue baby? It just gave me three spirit hearts. That doesn't seem fair. I picked up a health upgrade. Should have given me four. What's scary is that pill could have been bad trip and it just turned into uh, full health. I fucking hate this room, man. God damn! Well, at least I have poison touch, so I did kill the looper that hit me. Oh my god. Goddamn disgrace. Alright, nubs. I can deal with this. Drop some bombs. Nope. One cent. Not being able to pick up that book of revelations on the last floor is such a piss off. Especially since I've spent no money. I've picked up a total of 11 cents on this run. But I'm still I'm scraping it together. We can make this happen still. Probably not, but maybe. It's still a theoretical possibility. And that's, you know, that's better than nothing, sort of. Why am I not shooting through these rocks? I have the Ouija board. Leaper should die now. Okay, one more. Fighting one leaper I can do. Fighting four leapers. Not easy. 
could get two more cents with that bomb, and I might do that depending on, you know, whether it looks like the shop is a good idea. Right now I'm concerned, because it could also be greed, of course, and greed has the potential to end this run. Let's check out the item room. Extra damage. Uh, that's a good pickup. I'm not going to use my D6. Fuck it, let's use our... Uh, but I need one more cent to get to 15 cents. I hate the Ouija board when you're trying to shoot poop, man. Okay, well, we can't use our bomb to get to this chest, though. Because I need that bomb to get to the money so that I can... Uh, uh, blue baby. So stressful. Why do I put myself through this nonsense? One more. Drop an extra bomb. Uncle Ryan wants to succeed. Temperance. It's a blood bank. Worthless! And I guess we'll just move on. But I really, I should go to the shop. That could be what saves me or ends me. So I may actually end up going to the mob trap room, even though it's risky. So you can pick up a scent in there, or at the very least some more bombs. Oh, but let's just focus on getting past the floor first. Deb's part one. Hoping I fight someone easy. <laughs> let's just put it that way. I'm, I'm too preoccupied right now to actually think of bosses I can Oh, yes, got him. And very nearly walked on the spikes there myself. It would cost me big. Yeah, three. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot! Walked on the spikes, down a half a heart. But I've pulled runs back from the brink of destruction before! We got bomb fly fistula. And laser bullet flies. Let's do crowd control first. Laser bullet flies gotta go. And let's focus on the bomb fly fistulas. Oh, laser bullet fly fistulas. And bomb fly fistulas. All tied together. Beautiful. Now, if we can keep these guys all on one side like Jez Ball, we'll be in a great position. Okay. One bomb fly fistula down. One to go. Beautiful! Picked up a key and tons of health that I'll never be able to use. Oh man, that was scary. I spent so much of this run on half a spirit heart. It's starting to not even phase me. Like this is just what my life is like now. Playing video games for the internet. All alone in my basement. There's no way to segue out of that that isn't awkward. <laughs> you make a joke and then the joke doesn't really fly and then it just looks like you're a sad man. Which is not true. I'm generally speaking, a very contented man. Except during this run, where things are going pretty poorly. But also kind of exciting. I should not be here. I should not be here. Oh god, that was close. Okay. The creep could disappear so I don't accidentally walk on it. Thanks for the hearts, I'll be sure to put those to good use. And we do have a spirit heart repository here, hopefully. Thank. The. Lord. So we're up to 14 cents, one more cent, we can make the shop worthwhile. Lust is not bad at this point. Uh, if she drops Poison Touch, that doesn't make any sense because we already have it. Well, we don't have to worry about it, I suppose. Health down. Uh, big pickups here. Pretty excited about that. Fuck it, we'll fight the boss, we'll go down to the next floor and we'll use the shop there. Oh, but I should, I, I can still go back to the shop because uh, I know that greed can't be in there because we already had lust. Potentially, could pick up a good item here by the way, my D6. Let's see, may, or maybe I could just get a bomb and then I could get that other money. That's all I would want right now. Okay, you're gonna do your jumping attack. We all know how this goes. Now shoot your laser. Shoot your laser! This is bad! Yep, that was, uh, that was poor play on my part. Now, lazy me. Okay, I'm just gonna try to get him into the center of the map now. So I'm just gonna shoot him on the left side. Just chill out on the right side of the map. Okay, there we go. Now we got him in the middle. Time to go to town. Monster 2, fast becoming one of my favorite bosses. Well, fast becoming? This has been like a six month let's play. And I've loved him since like part 
10 when I figured out that you could actually goad him into the slave or attack. Like someone told me that in the comments. Anyway, health upgrade. Now maybe we could do something cool in here? Mom's knife. I'm gonna pick it up and just see what happens. If it ends it, I'm sorry, but I do have this one up. It worked! <laughs> okay, I essentially traded the one up for Mom's heart. Or the one up for Mom's knife. I see, this old dog still got some new tricks in him. And now I'm back to three spirit hearts, so it's, I mean, it's not like I lost anything huge in that trade. I just definitely do not want to go pick up the Necronomicon now. I'm starting to think we have a chance. Maybe not a good chance, but a chance nonetheless. Uh, I guess we'll pay five cents for a bomb. Really should have uh, knocked open these fires first. Because the compass would be a better pickup, but hey, whatever. Alright. So now we'll make our way down to the depths part two. My prediction was actually incorrect. We have still survived against all odds. And I mean, legitimately against all odds maybe we'll get lucky I mean I've got a chance now I've got the skills basically or I've got the the equipment you know what let's pop open this chest right here I'll use my bomb tarot card emperor takes me directly to the boss that'll be a huge thing to hold on to if I get to the womb all right down to the next floor with d6 still charged starting to feel excited again not like I'm just waiting for death This is going to be the tough shot. Come on. Charge it up. Alright, I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, God, I almost stepped on that. And then I did. Because I'm bad at the Binding of Isaac. My guy's too fucking fast. <laughs> it's a serious problem. I mean, not as much as being too slow is, but still. Oh, of course, there's a key there. The one area I cannot access. Again, I still, even though we had a hiccup there, with Mom's knife, I feel like anything is possible. Let's go to Infinity and Beyond. And other uh, quotes from children's movies. Anything is possible, I don't think, is a quote from the children's movie. I don't know, guys. I'm talking out of my ass, and my breath smells horrible. Let's move on from this strange tangent. Surprise myself by uh, getting out of the creep of those brain guys. We, oh my god. <laughs> you just have to laugh, because like, I keep getting screwed. I keep screwing myself over, basically. And then I keep pulling it back, but how many miracles can I possibly pull out in one run? Enough? I suppose we'll see, won't we? For now, we'll just focus on these guts. They do not have it, so we should be able to make it. Troll bomb. And our item room is the Shears! Beats the D6, that's for damn sure. I was gonna reroll it because I, I I wanted something that allowed me to fly like permanently, but oh well. We can't really do much about that, so we'll just move on with one, one spirit heart. Getting down to the womb is gonna be the worst, because if we get to the womb, one hit will kill us. I need to find some way to get extra hearts on this floor. Or very, very early on the next floor. Very, very early, like the first room. Oh my god, such an idiot. <laughs> that run is my failure. Like, just pure... It, it, my insecurity in corporeal form. I died there, not because the game screwed me over, although it did a little bit, but because just poor, unfocused play. I'm really disappointed with that run. But hopefully it was entertaining, and, you know, now you understand why I don't play Blue Baby. I don't have the skills to pay the Blue Baby bills. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.